Hey everybody, this is Ray Halstead and Andrew Mill with RHCPA. Today we want to talk about shareholder distributions. A lot of our small business owners out there have S corporations and um, most of them are aware, but, uh, but maybe not, that there's two ways to basically get your money um, out of your S corporation. One is through a W-2 wage, which most people understand. The other is through shareholder distributions, uh, which a lot of people don't understand. I've got Andrew McMillan here with me today. Andrew, what can you tell us about shareholder distributions? Well, kind of like what you mentioned, that they're a way for owners to pull money out of their company um, in the form of like a dividend. Um, so it's the it's the, basically the owner's way of paying themselves from the from the earnings of the company that that, that, that they have generated. Um, and in general terms, these distributions should not be taxable to you. Um, we work with our small business owners quite a bit on making sure that they stay in a position where these distributions are not going to be taxable to them. So, and that's really one of the beauties of an S corporation is these um, S distributions, shareholder distributions that you pull out of the company are not taxable. Right. And they're not taxable because they've already, they've already been, been taxed, taxed, which is the confusing thing that people have a hard time understanding. Correct. Can you kind of walk us through an example? Yeah. That? That, that's the hard thing for everyone to kind of wrap their head around sometimes. So let's so let's assume that your business has net taxable profit of a hundred grand. So so you've got all your income, you've got all of your expenses, and then what's left over is a hundred thousand dollars of net taxable profit. Let's also assume that that hundred thousand dollars of profit is still sitting in your business bank account. You haven't pulled it out to yourself. You haven't paid it out to you in a W two H. It's just sitting in your business bank account. Right. So when it comes time to you to do your tax return. You, as the owner of that company, you're going to be taxed on $100,000 of that profit. Whether you S-corp. pull that 100000 out or not, you're going to be taxed You're on taxed it. on it. These are flow-through companies. Because we hear that a lot, is that well, I didn't pull any money out. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So that, that but it sounds like a bad thing, but it's really a good thing because that, that, that profit is going to flow through. You're going to be to pay taxes on it personally, but then that money can still be sitting in that business bank account. But if and when you do decide to pull that money out of that company bank account, it's not going to be taxable to you because it's already been taxed earnings. So there's only one level of taxation here under the S corporation structure. You're only paying it on that net profit. You don't also have to pay it when you pull money out of the company. So are there any instances where you would ever have to pay taxes on that distribution? So there are, and that's what, again, like I previously mentioned, we work with our small business owners quite a bit to make sure they don't get upside down and get into situations where they have to pay money on those distributions because that's never a good fit, a good out- outcome for anyone. Um, but there are some instances, like let's say that you've bought a bunch of equipment financed through debt and you've really worked your net profit way down even though you still generated the cash but you've we've accelerated some some depreciation to work your profit down so now there's a little bit of a disparity between what your profit your taxable profit is but what your actual cash flow was so you want to make sure that you show enough profit every year to justify the distributions that you're taking out if you get in a situation where you're not showing a lot of profit, but you're still really making some good money and you want to pull that out, it could cause you some issues um, from making those distributions tax. Right. And what Andrew's talking about is what we call basis. You have to have basis in your corporation, which we've done. A, that's a whole nother video because that's another very complex topic. And you really want to make sure that you're working with your CPA to make sure you have enough basis by year end to, uh, so that way those distributions aren't taxable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, shareholder basis is one of the more complicated areas of the tax return. So um, if it sounds kind of foreign, it's because it's not quite straightforward. So, But we can certainly work with you on understanding that. Awesome. So if you have an S corporation, you have questions surrounding shareholder basis, uh, feel free to give us a call and we'll help you out. Thanks.